Okay, in this, in this video we're going to uh, look at the using the gyro sensor and get the, uh, the robot to turn through 90 degrees. But the gyro sensor is best accessed through the weight command and we will pop that up on screen but obviously we need to, to make a motor, make our robot move by using a motor command. This time I'm going to use the, the move tank command because there's a bit more control for, for doing a tight turn. We want it to go um, in opposite directions and because we're using it with a sensor it will simply be switched on and we'll have one going forward but it has to go at a very slow speed because the sensor needs time to operate. So I would suggest it works quite well about speed about 10. That's only running 10% of maximum speed and the opposite motor will be going in the opposite direction but you get a full spin so minus 10. Then we set our sensor so we select the, the gyro sensor we're going to compare the angle there are two modes there's compare and there's measure. Um, comparing compares with a with a, with a Pacific number. So we're going to be looking for 90. Um, again, I would always caution against using using brawl. So equal to or or more than is the operator we actually want here. So it will go around until it reaches 90 or if it misses 90, 91, 92, possibly 93. Uh, there, is, um, there is a tolerance on this particular sensor of about 3 degrees. So you'll get an approximation, not absolute precision with it. And the slower the speed, the, the more precise it becomes. 90 degrees is, is the setting we've got, so that's fine. We need to set the, the gyro to zero. So we go to the, the sensor blocks, pick up the gyro block, pop it in the middle, at the, sorry, in the beginning, not the middle, and reset it. If we look down at the, at the bottom corner here, you can see, select into, input, into input 3, we have got the, the gyro sensor, the moment it's reading 111 degrees. Um, you may even see that number change if it's connected as, as the gyro sensor drifts very slightly. And then finally we need to, to stop the motor. So, move tank again at this time set it to stop. So just to re recapitulate, um, the first thing that this, this uh, set of sequences does is to reset the, the gyro sensor so that it's at zero. At the moment it's showing minus 32. Then we turn using the tank turn on a low power setting, I'm using 10 and 10% 10 there, until uh, the, the sensor reaches the point where it is has reached 90 degrees or, or more than 90 degrees, at which point it will stop. And I'll just download that and run it so that you can see the, the sensor reset. and it stopped at 93 degrees, which is within tolerance, three degrees either way.